Understanding where your best leads and appointments are coming from is critical to making smart advertising decisions. There are several different ways that you can go about getting this information, but I'm going to show you the simplest way to do that if you're using Go High Level or Pipeline Patriot. So the first thing that we are going to do is go into our workflows that is under automation and workflows. So before we actually dive in, the first thing I'm going to do outside of that system is I'm going to create a Google sheet and that's going to be called ad attribution. I'm going to give it a couple of different column names, name, site source, campaign, ad set, ad, and date. My goal is to get all of my attribution data automatically plugged into this spreadsheet on a daily basis so that I never again have to go digging through the source report to check my UTM parameters, to check that first attribution or last attribution, or pull it manually. So again, this is step number one, going ahead and creating this simple spreadsheet. And now we are going to create our workflow. So you can add this step into any of your existing workflows. But I've got a lot of different workflows that go on, a lot of different things that I might wanna track. So I am going to set up a brand new workflow to just keep it a little bit simpler and more clean. So we are gonna start this from scratch, let it load and get started. The first thing I'll do inside the workflow is give it a name. This is going to be called add attribution, and we are going to call this schedules. So I do have purchase campaigns that are running. I do have lead generation campaigns that are running, but ultimately the core of my business is built on sales appointments. So we are going to focus on scheduled appointments. I could get a lot of leads at a really low cost, but the only thing I really care about is how many of those leads schedule appointments, whether that's the short term or the long term. So we are going to do appointment status, and this is going to be appointment status is confirmed. And if we want to select in calendar, we could also do this. So this is our primary calendar right here, but I'm actually going to add a second one for another calendar. So if I wanted to add another one in here, I wouldn't be able to do that. That's why I'm gonna add a second workflow trigger step. So we're gonna do appointment status. So you might be wondering why am I doing appointment status instead of customer booked appointment. Well, the truth is that we have a lot of people that self schedule, but we also have a setting strategy where we will reach out to people who purchase uh, our low ticket master classes or products, and we will often set calls with those people. So at the end of the day, yes, I care if people self schedule, but I also want to know the people who are scheduling on the follow up through the appointment setting where are those calls coming from as well. So to me, they're all the same at the end of the day. So I want to make sure that these are both going in here. So we're going to go ahead and get those two primary calendars in there and I'm going to hit save. I make it a habit to save after really most steps that I do or every couple of steps, just because you never know when tech is going to be a little glitchy and we want to make sure that we don't have to redo anything. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to use this Google Sheets action. This is a newer premium action. So you may not have access to this, but most of you should. So again, it is a new premium action. We're going to head and select Google Sheets. And could we stop right now, go ahead and create our Google Sheet and move forward? Absolutely. Under the Create Spreadsheet Row option, I'm going to select my Google Drive. I'm going to find the spreadsheet that I already made. I'm going to select a worksheet. And just keep in mind that whatever you name this worksheet needs to remain the same. If you change the name of the worksheet, it will mess with this workflow. So we're going to say we're starting on column A, we're ending on column F, and now we're going to fill in the values for these different columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is say name, we've got full name, site source, this is going to be under attribution, and I'm going to do the first 
attribution. So last attribution is another option that you have. Those are first touch point essentially that brings somebody into your ecosystem. And the last attribution would be that last thing that they did or that they saw or that they clicked on before they converted. So I'm going to do the first attribution. That's something that's important to me. I could have another sheet for my last attribution as well. I may want to cross reference these. So keep in mind as well that in order to have most of this attribution data, you do need to be using UTM parameters in your advertising. There are some instances where you don't have to use those UTM parameters for the attribution data to pull in, but overall, if you're not using that, you're not actually going to be able to complete this step. So if you're watching this, you're not using UTM parameters, I do have another video that talks about that, but honestly, it's a very, very easy thing to implement that will dramatically increase your ad tracking and attribution. So for me, I use campaign, I've got my ad set, which is going to be listed under UTM medium. Then I've got my ad, which is going to be under UTM content. Actually going to update this one to just make sure. Okay, that's correct. And then for date, I am just going to do the date of their appointment. So I don't know that this is critical. Um, these are going to be in chronological order anyway. So I'm going to be able to see those dates, but it's just going to help me have an idea of, you know, the time of the year that these are going in there. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to publish it and we should start seeing our attribution data flow in. There you have it. I now have all of my appointment scheduling attribution data going automatically into a Google Sheet that's going to show me every single schedule that I get. Where did they originate? What was the site that they came from? Because the ads that I run are on a variety of sites. What was the campaign name? What was the ad set name? What was the ad name? This is going to make it so easy for me to do some conditional formatting in that spreadsheet and see very, very quickly and easily at a glance where the majority of my schedules are coming from. So I, again, can already see that in site source. I have a video that covers that already. That's going to be under the um, the reporting tab, but this is an easier way to do it so that you do not have to dig for that data. There's still a use for that video. There's still plenty of other things that you may want to take a look at in that same format. But now that we have the ability to drive this data into a Google sheet is a total game changer. So make sure that you do learn about UTM parameters. I've got another video on that as well. But this is something that you should be doing for your leads, something you should be doing for your appointments, for your purchases. So that's another one that I could duplicate. How we track our, not just our low ticket purchases, but our high ticket purchases that happen on the back end. I want to know where those people came from. Granted, at this time, we already track that through the salesperson who's closing them. They can see that data. They track that data. So I've already got that, but it would allow me to do this in a much more automated fashion so that they can save some hours in their month, not having to do it themselves. So hopefully this has been helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss anything new. Comment if you have questions and I'll see you on the next one.